Discord has been adding a bunch of new features recently and one of the coolest features that Discord has added is Discord events. So in this video, I'll be showing you what Discord events is, how to use it, and by the time you get done, you're going to be scheduling out events and showing people within your Discord community what's coming up on the schedule in one of the most easy and simple ways possible. So let's dive into it and I'll give you guys the rundown of how it works. Guys, before we jump in and take a look at the events feature in Discord, I do want to say a huge shout out and thank you to the sponsor of today's video, One Compress. One Compress has some of the best pain relief solutions for gamers, athletes, content creators, and everyone in between. Their compression technology works hard to reduce swelling, improve circulation, and ultimately achieve maximum comfort for troublesome areas caused by things like arthritis, carpal tunnel, and tendonitis. With compression gloves, ankle and knee braces, wrist and elbow sleeves, posture correctors, and more, you're sure to find the solution you need to relieve pain at the source. So visit onecompress.com today and get 15% off your compression technology by using code EagleGarrett15 at checkout. Huge thank you to One Compress for sponsoring these videos. And guys, if you have any kind of pain from gaming, from long sessions at the computer, anything like that, check them out. They're awesome. They've got all kinds of stuff that will help relieve that pain and get that circulation going. Make sure you use code EagleGarrett15 to get that 15% off. Links, of course, for everything we talk about in the description of this video. But with that being said, you guys, let's jump in and take a look at Discord events. So here we are in our Discord. And if you'd like to join our Discord, you can go to discord.gg slash flock. I've got a link for it down in the description of the video. But this is what we're going to be taking a look at as far as the events feature. I'm going to be showing you how it works in our Discord because we're going to utilize it all the time. In fact, recently I just did a 24 hour stream on my Twitch channel and uh, we, you know, we promoted the 24 hour stream on Twitter and in Discord and all the social medias, things like that. But the events feature would have been so much easier to make sure that everybody knew that we were doing this 24 hour stream. So if you're a streamer or a content creator, this is going to work really good for letting people know what's going on for your, your, uh, you know, creative events. If you're a business or a school, you can let people know about upcoming events within your business or school. So what we're going to do is over here on the left hand side of discord, you'll notice all of our channels and whatnot. And at the very top, you see this events tab. So we're going to click this events tab. And originally the events tab was specifically designed to set up live stage events. So it was really more focused on the live stage event when you create a live stage and then you schedule out, you know, this event to happen where it's a live audio stage and you can have people listening and things like that. I'll probably do a video on live stages at another time, but they've upgraded this events feature to where now it's not just for live stage events. It can be for anything. So when you go over here and you click on create an event, it's going to ask you what your event is. If it's taking place in a live stage channel, then you can select stage channel. And then down here, it will allow you to select what stage channel you want to use. In our Discord, we only have one, so there's only one that pops up. If you've got multiple, it'll give you multiple. Then you can also schedule an event to happen in a voice channel within your Discord. So if you click on this one, you can go down and see every voice channel within your Discord, and you can select the one that you want. And then once you select that voice channel, that's where it's going to schedule the event to take place. The other thing you can do though, is if it's not in discord, but it's actually somewhere else, like in my case, as a streamer on Twitch, I was having a 24 hour stream. I can go to somewhere else and I can click this and then I can put either a location or a link or something like that of where the event is taking place. So in this one, I'm going to put my Twitch URL right there. And when I hit next and we're going to, we actually found a bug, which may pop up here in a minute. If it does, I'll show you how to fix it. But the next page is going to be uh, your event name. So let's say there was another 24 hour stream. So we're going to say 24 hour stream. Uh, then we're going to say the start date is going to be the 9th at 7 p.m. And the end date is going to be the 10th at uh, 7 p.m. So that's going to be 24 hours, right? We're going to say uh, 24 hour hang session, right? Uh, with giveaways. All right. Uh, and so that's kind of like what we did with our 24 hour stream recently is we actually did giveaways and all this kind of stuff. So you put all the information down here. You have, uh, what is that? Up to a thousand characters. Uh, yeah, a thousand characters to put in here. So you type that all out. And once you get done here, you're going to hit next. Now, this is where the bug is happening. And if Discord, if you're watching this video, uh, you see how it's scheduled out the event, but it's giving the mod squad chat. 
uh, as the location that it's happening. This is happening because I selected that earlier when I was showing you guys the, the different events that you could do. So if this happens, all you have to do is cancel the event and then create the event again and don't select either one of these channels, select somewhere else first. And then if you do that and you go to next and you reschedule out your 24 hour, you know, stream, right? We'll do that. We're going to say 7 PM to, uh, 7 PM, do the whole thing again, all that sort of thing. We hit next and now it's going to have it created properly. So if you run into that bug, just make sure you back out of the event, go back into it. Discord, if you see this, that does need to be fixed, but you'll see that now the Twitch stream URL is a clickable link within the event. And you see that it's uh, starting in 45 minutes. It's a 24 hour stream. This is our description down here, even though I just smashed a bunch of keys at that second time around. <laughs> uh, but then we hit create event and it's going to create the event within our discord now a couple cool things to note is if i exit out of this you'll see up here that it now says one event so within our discord anybody who's in our community when they're in our discord they're going to look up here and they're going to see that we have an event taking place they can click on this and it's going to bring up all the events we have scheduled out you could schedule out a bunch of them if you want to and that number will just you know show you how many events are in the schedule and then people can scroll down and look to see what all is coming up in your community now here's what else is cool if somebody is interested in joining this event then they can actually click this interested button which i'm automatically in the event but if i'm if i'm not if people are just looking at this for the first time they can hit interested and now it's going to show how many people are interested in the event and they'll also get notifications i believe for when the event happens now here's what else is cool they can click on the url to go right there they know exactly the time and, and when it's starting things like that if they hover over this it'll say it's happening today at 7 pm they can invite their friends by clicking this link they can invite people from discord or they can copy a link uh, to send directly to their friends and uh and then once you get all this set up you're good to go. Your event is scheduled. People know when it's happening. It will uh, make sure that people are updated when the event starts. It'll actually send out a notification saying event starting and, and people will get a mobile push notification and things like that. Uh, and then if you need to edit the event from here, you can click on more and hit edit event and you can change anything about the event. So since we're not actually doing this event, we're going to uh, cancel the event and it will take it away and now you notice that there's nothing happening under our events tab but we can create an event what's also really cool about this is if you'll notice right down here you can go into your server settings and then go to roles and if you schedule out let's say uh you want to schedule a couple of events but you got a huge list of events that you have coming up you can actually turn on permissions for, let's say some of your Discord moderators or some of the other admins, if you have multiple admins on your server and they can go in and they can create events as well. You just have to make sure that their roles are turned on uh, to allow them to do that. But then at that point, they can go in here and they can fill out all of your events. A social media manager could do this for their company if they have a company Discord and want to put the entire list of events coming up for the company. This is a very cool feature, you guys, that uh, really everybody should start using. If you've got anything coming up on the horizon for your community, start using this event scheduling feature because not only will it reach out to your entire community and let them know what's going on, but also when people are just hanging out in your Discord looking to see See what's going on they're going to be able to see upcoming events click on it and see exactly what information they need so this is a very very cool feature i absolutely love it and i when they first came out with it and they were talking about having this event scheduling feature for live channels i actually told my wife i was like man they really need to make like an events feature for multiple things and not just live channels well sure enough not that long after that conversation, they now have opened it up to be an events feature for multiple different things. So very cool feature, you guys. Start using it today. It's super straightforward and simple. And uh, yeah, you can start getting your events scheduled out in no time. So if you found this video helpful, smack that thumbs up button for me. I would greatly appreciate it and helps get this video out to more people. And of course, if you like this channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to know when videos like this go live. I am a streamer over on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Eagle Garrett. So if you want to hang out with us anytime and talk about these videos or just come watch us play games and have a good time, twitch.tv slash Eagle Garrett's the place to be. We'd love to have you over there with us. In addition to that, you can find me on all the social medias. I've got links for everything down in the description of the 
this video. So make sure you check that out. And last but not least, I do want to invite you to our Discord at discord.gg slash flock. If you'd like to join, we have an awesome community over there and we'd love to have you be a part. But with that being said, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. And as always, rock on, peace out, God bless. And last but not least, Kaka! I'm going to do it. You're going to do it? I'm going to do it. Doing it. He's, he's low health. Get he is. Him. Oh, nine more. Oh gosh, he almost got me. Potion. Potion. I know, I'm trying to find it. Where is he? You he missed. He's here, raging. Behind. Come on, raging sloth. Come here, buddy. He's hiding in the ice. That <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you put on him. I'm so close. Oh, let's go, baby. Let's go.